Well, it's been cloudy for most of our day, and we're going to continue with that as we go into tonight, taking a look, seeing some more rolling in from the southwest and from the west for us. It was a nice warm day today, but we're seeing a few breaks. Let's take a look at downtown right now, seeing a break of some cloud cover leading to not that great of a sunset. Still going to be pretty nice out there. We're hitting low 60s, 10 miles per hour, some of the weakest winds we've seen so far today, and we're going to continue to see that stay with us build up in strength as we go into Saturday and then die back down into Sunday. Right now, temperatures, we're seeing some 50s, 58 and 59 towards El Dorado and out towards Sonora, 61 here in town, and then seeing mid-60s. As we watch for tonight, like I said, winds are going to be dying down, 10 miles per hour. We're seeing gusts still a little bit stronger out there, 16 to 20 mile per hour. The peak gust winds we actually saw were at 30 here in San Angelo and everywhere else saw some mid-20s, and it is going to be picking up. We could see up to 40 mile per hour gusts for our peak wind gusts tomorrow. So when I say it is going to be windy, it's definitely going to be windy, and we'll be picking that up tonight as we hit 50s. We'll start to see more 15 to 20 miles per hour. Still coming in from the south, we're actually going to watch the switch as we go into Saturday. It's going to start out from the south, so we'll get warmer. We'll get to the 68, upper 60s with a few clouds, 20 to 25 mile per hour winds. And then we see it switch and start to come in from the west. So looking at 9 o'clock in the morning on your Saturday, we're seeing 20 to 19 miles per hour here in town coming in from the west. Like I said, we're starting to see that transition from south to west as we go into your Saturday. By the evening, it is finally starting to die down. We're starting to get back below into 10 to 5 miles per hour into our Saturday night. And it is still coming from the west. But when it switches and starts to come from the north, that's when we're going to start to see our cool down. By sat Sunday at 10 o'clock, 10 to, to 5 miles per hour, pretty normal for us usually. And that's what's going to keep us in the low 60s for the end of your weekend before you get back into another warming up trend. So seeing a little bit of a difference between Saturday and Sunday with 68 to 63. It is going to go from very windy to pretty normal winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour Sunday and going to see some cooler overnight lows. It does get a little bit warmer next week. By that, I mean we're going to start to see a little bit more widespread 70s into Tuesday and Wednesday. Because on Monday, still cool air coming in from the north for us, getting in those mid-60s. But then Tuesday and into Wednesday, upper 60s. Definitely by Wednesday, we're going to see mid-70s. And then we'll start to watch, of course, behind that, a low-pressure system come through, another cold front that's going to get us into the upper 50s. So a drastic change for Wednesday and into Thursday, just like we're going to see a drastic change from Saturday to Sunday, but with windy conditions where we get from 20 to 25 miles per hour Saturday to 5 to 10 miles per hour from the north on Sunday before we see that warm-up next week. Try